you mind if I uh, take a look at your store? Not at all. No. My guest. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest mistakes on Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Jimmy. You do realize you just confessed to a felony? Yes. But you feel better, right? Besides, it's your word against mine. For this list, we'll be looking at the biggest blunders made by characters on both Vince Gilligan shows. Which of these mistakes should have been easily avoided? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Acid Bath. Breaking Bad. While Jesse gets more intelligent over time, he wasn't always the sharpest tool in the shed. What one particular element comes to mind? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, I... One of his biggest stumbles comes early on in the series, when he and Walt need to dispose of a body. They decide the best way to deal with it is by melting it in hydrofluoric acid. Walt specifically tells Jesse to buy a plastic bin made of polyethylene because it will be able to contain the acid. What kind of plastic, man? Polyethylene. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know that? However, Jesse decides instead to melt the evidence in his upstairs bathtub. This horrible idea leads to the acid immediately eating through the ceramic. Why you got me running around town trying to find some stupid piece of plastic when I have a perfectly good tub I can use? Thanks to Jesse's harebrained move, they're left with a huge and disgusting mess. You see, hydrofluoric acid won't eat through plastic. It will, however, dissolve metal, rock, glass, ceramic. Number 9. Jimmy's Skateboarder Scheme Better Call Saul Although Jimmy McGill desperately wants to represent the Kettlemans, they weren't on board with bringing him in. I just think I'd look guilty if I hired a lawyer. Yeah. Well, actually... It's getting arrested that makes people look guilty, even the innocent ones. And innocent people get arrested every day. So he devises a scheme. McGill decides to hire two skeezy skateboarders, Cal and Lars, to stage a car accident with Betsy Kettleman. Unfortunately, they target the wrong car. They end up trying to extort money from the grandmother of the extremely dangerous Tuco Salamanca. At this juncture, I'm deducing that they said or did something that... Well, Cross the line, and you, with some justification, you put them in their place. As punishment, they're all taken to the desert and held at gunpoint. Cal and Lars end up having their legs broken. His relationship with that family would go on to cause him nightmares for years to come. Tell me again. What? Tell me again. Number 8. Walt Sells His Share Breaking Bad Walt shares a lot in common with Jimmy. He is also incredibly smart, and his intelligence is also undermined by a thankless job that is beneath his skill level. Okay. Ionic bonds. Before finding work as a high school science teacher, Walt helped create gray matter technologies with Elliot Schwartz. However, personal problems with Gretchen caused Walt to leave gray matter and sell his share of the company for $5,000. Care to guess what that company is worth now? Millions. Billions. With a B. To Walt's credit, it was hard to predict just how successful his company would become. But successful it was, and Walt lost out on hundreds of millions. It was a case of his ego getting the best of him. You and Elliot cut me out. What? That can't be how you see it. It's my hard work. My research and you and Elliot make millions off it. This bad trait returned when he turned down Gretchen and Elliot's offer to pay for his cancer treatments. Number 7. Tricking Chuck. Better Call Saul. While Chuck McGill is not a great brother, he didn't deserve to go out the way he did. I know you. I know what you were. What you are. People don't change. You're slipping Jimmy. He claimed to suffer from electromagnetic hypersensitivity, which is not a medically recognized condition. Real or not, Jimmy knows how to take advantage of his brother and his condition. The lawyer constantly tricks Chuck throughout the series. In one case, Jimmy sneaks a battery into his brother's suit pocket. Could you reach into your breast pocket and tell me what's there? <laughs> what now? This incident is one of the steps that marks the beginning of Chuck's personal downward spiral. 
Over time, his mental state begins to deteriorate, and Chuck eventually suffers a mental breakdown and takes his own life in a house fire. Number 6. Slaying Gale, Breaking Bad when Walt correctly deduces that Gus plans on replacing him and Jesse with Gale, he decides to make that option impossible. You know what we do. Of course, this isn't the only choice. Walt could have run with the money he already had accumulated, or he could have followed Jesse's suggestion and gone to the DEA, rat out Gus, and admit his transgressions in exchange for protection. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that at all, but for your family, hey, the DEA would love you. But Walt is instead adamant on killing Gale. Never the DEA. The cook can't stop. It's the one thing I'm certain of. Production cannot stop. Unfortunately, things don't go so smoothly, and it's Jesse who has to literally and figuratively pull the trigger. This decision saved their lives in the short term. However, it puts them far deeper with the seriously ticked off Gus, leads to even more death, and causes Jesse to spiral into a deep depression. Number 5. Not Quitting While He's Ahead – Breaking Bad If Walt wasn't so egotistical, he really could have gotten away with everything. And from what I saw on those papers, genius? Not so much. After getting rid of Gus, the first half of Season 5 really emphasizes Walt's pride and greed as he begins building his empire. Everything comes to a head in buyout, and it's here that Walt truly seals his fate. Both Mike and Jesse decide to get out of their illegal business and walk away with their illegal earnings. Although Walt gets a similar opportunity, he refuses so he can keep his empire. I'm in the empire business. In order to maintain it, Walt does extreme things like fatally wounding Mike. I just realized that Lydia has the names I can get them from her. I'm sorry, Mike. Unfortunately for him, his life only gets worse from there. All Walt had to do to stop his ultimate loss was to stop playing the game. You just had to blow it up, you, and your pride and your ego. You just had to be the man. Number 4. Involving Kim. Better Call Saul. While many fans despise Chuck, there's no denying that he makes good points. Jimmy is a danger to the people around him, and he does take a certain amount of pleasure in bringing people down to his level. <laughs> He's gonna come out. Kim Wexler is the breakout star of Better Call Saul. Smart, confident, personable, and ambitious, she has all the makings of a very successful lawyer. But Jimmy makes a grave mistake by bringing in Kim to help with his various cons and unlocking something deep and nasty within her. Did you hear what I said? It happens today. Before long, she's interfering in Howard's career, an interference that leads to his unfortunate death. Number 3. Leaving Gail's Book in the Bathroom – Breaking Bad Walt is a really clumsy criminal, considering his brother-in-law is a DEA agent. You gotta keep better watch over your turf. I, I will. We don't want people to start wondering about you, right? <laughs> and Walt is especially clumsy around Hank. Remember that time he got drunk and threw Hank off Gale? If he just shut up and let Hank believe that Gale was Heisenberg, a lot of destruction could have been avoided. But the dumbest mistake of them all was leaving Gale's book in his bathroom. Walt should have thrown that thing out the second he received it, or at least kept it stashed in a secure place. But no, he places it right next to the toilet for all to read. WW. <laughs> I mean, you figure that out, you know? Woodrow Wilson? Willy Wonka? Walter White? And read it, Hank does. And with that, he finally connects the dots. Number 2. Visiting Hector – Breaking Bad Ego and pride seem to be a recurring theme throughout Breaking Bad, and Gus certainly inhabits these traits. All dead. As is your grandson, Joaquin.
the Kingpin's partner was killed by Hector Salamanca prior to the events of the series. This causes Gus to become obsessed with visiting and tormenting his enemy in a nursing home. However, this behavior is his undoing when he tries to slay Hector for allegedly working with the DEA. He has no clue it was all a ruse. What kind of man talks to the DEA? No man. No man at all. Walt knew that was the only place Gus went regularly. So when the Kingpin arrives to torment Hector, they both perish in a bomb trap set up by Heisenberg. If Gus had just dealt with Hector earlier, it wouldn't have given Walt the opportunity that he so desperately needed. What happened? I won. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Trusting Walter – Breaking Bad We definitely wouldn't say that Jesse had a good thing going, but his life was certainly better before he reunited with Walter. Jesse made the worst mistake of his life by trusting Walter and going into business with him. You and, uh, and me. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Either that or I turn you in. Of course, this would lead to all the horrible things that would happen to him throughout the series. He loses girlfriends, kills people, nearly dies, and suffers horrible depression because of Walter. Until then, we keep going and we run our business our way and make sure that this never happens again. Jesse even remains loyal when Walt is at his most despicable in season five. It's not until he learns the truth about what Walter did to his girlfriend's son Brock that he decides to flip and work with Hank. I first met Mr. White's Walter White in junior year chemistry. He was my teacher. But by then, it's far too late for Jesse to avoid even more suffering. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.